Greetings everyone, the good Sir Knight here, and today we are going to be talking about dehydration. Basically dehydration, how it affects you, and what can be done about it. So this is actually something that took a while to learn about, because everyone knows that water alone cannot rehydrate you. Ironically, I know. Because you have the water, and it goes into the body, but you need the electrolytes. So what are electrolytes? Well basically, electrolytes are what plants crave. I knew I was going to go there. So electrolytes, basically various salts, particularly sodium chloride, so, you know, your normal table salt, as well as, I believe, even calcium to an extent, uh, what is the other one? There's a few others, like two others that go in there, calcium and uh, some other stuff. But basically, what these electrolytes enable you to do is actually get the water into your cells and actually be able to use it. Now, when you're out doing airsoft, or let's say you're still in the military and going on super heavy humps, and let's say it's, uh, either in the Middle East or you're somewhere else that's super hot and humid, like, I don't know, Okinawa in the middle of summer. And, I mean, you could, you could be playing airsoft in just, like, your normal lightweight rig, like a little belt. So this is a good summer alternative, but let's say that you're absolutely determined to wear a plate carrier with the actual heavy plates and a helmet, and you're going to have no breathability, and you're going to be sweating out all of your water and electrolytes like it's cool. Now, in this case, just drinking a ton of water isn't going to help. That water is going to sit in your body, but ironically, it's not going to do anything but make you heavier. You're still going to dehydrate, and when you start dehydrating, you're going to feel a lot like you get really hungover. So if you've ever had way too much to drink, you wake up, you've got that nasty headache, and no matter how much water you drink, it doesn't go away. Stomach's messed up, you feel terrible. What do you do? Well, there's sports drinks. As you know, there's the Gatorade and Powerade sort of set up off in the stateside. And if you're out in Okinawa, there's Picari Sweat and Aquarius. Now the problem is these don't contain nearly enough electrolytes to sufficiently rehydrate you. And if you're out playing a friendly game of football or a bit of baseball or something pretty simple, even tennis maybe, sure, okay, the extra sugar will help you keep going and, the, and the, it won't necessarily keep you super hydrated, but it's better than just normal water. And if you drink it on a normal situation where you're not dehydrating, then the extra sugar is terrible for you. Now outside of that, a common hangover cure, because hangovers are directly related to the overall cause here, is going to be Pedialyte. Now Pedialyte is basically designed for small children. It has the amount of sugar and stuff to make it sweet enough to drink, but it's okay. Now, what I've only learned about recently, much to my surprise, that's super useful, is ORS, which is Oral Reh Rehydration Solutions, also Oral Rehydration Salts. Salts being the non-mixed powder and usually a waterproof bag. You can dump that into about a liter of water, mix it up, and you've got a fairly saline mixture. What it is, is you have your water, naturally, which is generally added to the mixture, but generally you have your, uh, your salts, the aforementioned, was it sodium bicarbonate, some sodium chloride, a bit of uh, other things in there, and that's mixed with C6H12O6, which is glucose, because the good Sir Knight here was a huge chemistry nerd. So, you mix all that together in the water, and the glucose, basically, I actually have a bottle here, this is, um, I've had about three of these bottles, but as I've gotten super dehydrated one day and then sick the other, I would go through this. This is the Japanese oral rehydration solution, labeled here. This is OS1. They do sell it at Union, so if you're out in Japan right now and you want to play in heavy plates and everything and you hate getting dehydrated by the end of the day, you can pick this up for about two bucks. And as you can see here, it's got measurements for how many liters you need. You don't honestly need that much. You really want enough to keep the hydration at bay, or enough to prevent it, but generally the end all goal is not to get super dehydrated. Now, as I've been going around my plates and helmet, as one of the last games I played up in Sergeant 58, I was running around and I got really lethargic and really dehydrated. I remember, uh, who was it? Chris and uh, his wife and everyone, we all went to get taco rice afterwards. And I was a mess. I felt like I'd been drinking for two days straight. So, dehydration is bad. So what you do is before you even start to feel really dehydrated, if you know you're losing a bunch of sweat, you're not going to get the headache and the upset stomach and everything instantly. So what you do is you can sip on this, and this has a good amount. It tastes like slightly salty sweetened water, because it's got the glucose and the salt in it. So, duh. It's not that bad. They do make, um, stateside. There's a really basic, sort of bland sort of mixture that's great and really cheap. But additionally, they also have what's called drip drops. Drip drops bring the super popular version of ORS, because they come in berry and lime, I think it's lime lemon flavor. But apparently those ones are super popular, but they are a bit more expensive, but really easy to drink. Now, what's great about this is that the alternative treatment method, outside of, like, super dehydration from overexertion and exercise and, um, 
oh, let's say, hangovers, is that if you have children over the age of six, this can be used for any form of dehydration as from such as diarrhea. So, in 96% of the cases, simply drinking this will be more than enough to save you from dehydration, which can be a potentially life-threatening illness. Now, that being said, what about the other 4%? Well, the other 4% is at the point where your stomach is already so jacked up that it can't hold anything down and you're going to vomit back up the ORS. At that point, basically the only remaining solution is to get an IV. And IVs are great, they're not as effective as ORS, surprisingly, and they also lead the risk of infection with a uh, open wound leading into the blood and all that, meh, meh, meh. But if you can avoid getting to the point where you need an IV, if you can have ORS available, even in the simple little salt packets, which you can keep in an IFAC or a bag or somewhere, this is super useful. And what's great is you keep this in a little dump pouch or any sort of little bag. In between drinking your normal water, if you feel those electrolytes aren't there to get the water into your system, you could take a few sips of this, a few hundred milliliters is all you really need, and it'll keep you back going, which is imperative if you're wearing armor. Now, in an actual combat situation outside of Airsoft, where keeping your wits about you and staying focused and not dying of dehydration is imperative, this is utterly a lifesaver. I do believe they put up the electrolyte beverages still in the MREs and whatnot, and your local corpsman's, corpsman slash medic should have simple little salts and packets available too to mix with the canteen or so. So, absolutely fantastic. So these last few games where I've gone out and got in myself a fun case of dehydration, then went home and cried all day and you know, eventually recovered the next day after a huge night of sleep and eating a bunch of uh, ugh, salty foods and everything. Absolutely fantastic. Now, to tie all into this, I, just as of Wednesday, came down with a really nasty fever and it turned into a whole gastrointestinal, what is it called, acute gastrointestinitis and everything. So my whole stomach, everything's been jacked up. And I did, overnight, just through constant sweating and freezing, get dehydrated. Now, what do you think came to the rescue? I'll give you a hint, it wasn't Pokari Sweat or any sports drink. So, it has tons of uses. Now, of course, where as I mentioned with Gatorade and all these energy drinks, not energy drinks, sports drinks, if you're drinking those and you don't need them, then that's a ton of sugar and stuff that your body doesn't need that's going to the system. And all that extra sugar, if you're dehydrated, can make it worse if it's too much. So you can only use that in a certain boundary limit of brackets as to where it's effective. But if you're drinking all the extra sugar, terrible for your body, gonna make you fat, especially if you're not doing sports. Now with ORS, it does have the salt and everything in it. So if you're not actually dehydrated, like I'm getting now, because I'm just sweating out like it's cool, because I'm still relatively sick. If you're not dehydrated, and you're at the point where you can still just drink water and be perfectly okay, then you don't really need ORS. All that extra salt is gonna spike your blood pressure. The extra glucose isn't gonna hurt you much. It'll give you little boost of energy, but yeah, it's not going to work. So how does all that work together? Well, so you know you drink the water, it's got the, and the electrolytes and the sugar in it. Now the sugar basically lets it go straight into the, from the stomach to the small intestine, where it's easily absorbed. The glucose acts as a, uh, it's a really simple sugar that can go straight into the cells and everything. Really useful. So that gets carried with the electrolytes of the water, and all the uh, Glucose, the electrolytes are needed so you go past through the uh, cell walls and everything to transfer water and other electrolytes between the two. So basically it's a very simple, down to the cellular level, effective way to hydrate your body when water alone simply won't do it. So again, if you live in Okinawa and maybe you're not even wearing the armor, I mean it's just hot and humid once it gets to summer like it's getting to now. And despite the fact that there's a thunderstorm going on right now, it's still hot, it's still humid, maybe not as bad, but if water alone isn't cutting it for you know, like 200 yen, $2, you can keep yourself hydrated, you can stay in the fight, you can avoid the risk of dehydration, and it can be even more traumatic if you have to drive home and everything, because just being dehydrated is terrible in every case. So, with that, now you know all rehydration solutions, they exist, They're far more superior to Pita Light sports drinks, Really simple, cheap, and effective. And they're also certified by the World Health Organization. So they're a good thing, and they can potentially save your life if it comes down to it. But now you know, I have passed my knowledge on to you, and now you can, well, most importantly, help yourself. And in addition, in the event that you do see someone else coming down with dehydration or something, you can now help them by spreading the knowledge. Because 
sports drinks just aren't going to cut it, and maybe you don't have Pedialyte, and maybe you're not even playing uh, any airsoft or anything, maybe you just really like alcohol and you don't want to have an IV in your arm all the time. Another solution. Of course, be over the drinking age, everyone, and don't drink and drive. So that's all I have for you. Cheers, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. I actually have work later today, despite still being sick, so should be fun. Hope all of you are doing fantastic. I'll see you in the next video when, when I have something next for you. But yes, it's not just all the money you spend on your gear and your fancy stuff. You got to take care of your body because your body is literally the single most important thing you have for airsoft. You can't focus. You can't outflank the enemy. If you're not in good shape, your gear's too heavy. You can't outflank the enemy. So cheers, everyone. See you in the next video.